Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Polk State Lakeland Gateway to College Collegiate High School's annual recruit night. We will begin our recruit night this evening with our principal, Dr. Corey J. Barnes. Dr. Barnes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to tune in tonight. We do apologize for having to come to you in this format. Normally we are face-to-face -face on campus, but as COVID and things dictate, we're not able to do that. So we do appreciate you all taking the time to uh, listen to what we have to offer as far as our school. We're very proud of our school and we are very excited that you are considering possibly um, joining us for the next two years. So I want to start out by um, kind of doing a, I guess a couple of introductions of the people that you will be hearing from tonight and also some of our staff that is, um, that's on the line as well. Um, so first of all, you'll be hearing from Dr. Misha Downing Townsend, our assistant principal. You'll be hearing from Mrs. Tanya, Chan Tanya Chandler, our student resource specialist. You'll be hearing from Ms. Tanya Jones, our guidance counselor. Uh, Ms. Kim Battle, our administrative assistant, and Ms. Sherry Murray, our um, program assistant. And we do have some of our teachers on that I've seen. I see Ms. Uh, Bunny, who is our um, American history, U.S. history on the college side, uh, reading, critical thinking. She wears a lot of hats for us, and um, she's on the line. So, and she she also has in the past done FBLA. He's been a sponsor for that. I saw Mr. Patrick Jean on. He's our math teacher. He does financial algebra, algebra two, a um, couple of different high school math subjects for us. So those are the people that I saw. I know it may be more that jumped on since um, since I got on, but just want to make sure that we kind of recognize those couple. So next slide, Mr. Dr. Towns. Make sure I'm getting the right. So um, tonight, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over some general information about our collegiate high school. As you all may or may not be aware, there are three collegiate high schools that Polk State sponsors. We are the third. We are the, the, the baby of the bunch. We've been in operation since 2013. Um, the other two is uh, Polk State Lakeland Collegiate, which is also on the Lakeland campus where we're located. And it's also... Um, Chain of Lakes Collegiate, which is on the Winter Haven campus. Both of those schools have already had their recruits and they've already done their selection. So if you are here for one of those two schools, then I apologize that you're in the wrong location, but you are welcome to stay and hear what we have to offer because we feel like our product um, is a very worthwhile, very, um, very good product as well. So if you're here and you didn't mean to be here, you're more than welcome to stay but just want to make sure that you're in the right place listening to the correct school. So the information tonight will be all about Gateway to College High School, not the other two schools. So we will be letting you know the application steps and the details as far as how the application process goes, how we do our acceptance, when you will be accepted, things of those nature uh, or that nature. And then at the end, we will answer any questions that you have. And we're going to give you a lot of information tonight. So if you forget, a question or after we're done, you remember something, you will be more than able to, we'll give you contact information so that you can uh, contact us after tonight. So don't think that you have to have it all um, together tonight. You don't, we just want to give you some, um, some information so that you can make an informed decision. Okay. So the next thing we'll talk about is just our um, very quickly, our mission and vision for our school, just so you kind of have an idea of what we're about. Our mission is to provide an academic charter alternative for students. Um, in order to be at our school, you have to have at least 10 high school credits and you cannot be older than 21. And you have, we, we want our students to graduate from high school and transition into college. Now, how that looks will be different for each student. And um, Dr. Towns and Ms. Chandler kind of go over how that looks. Our, we're very individualized. So what one student has, the other student may not. So uh, please just know that um, we're a very, very, very um, 
individualized program. So what you need and what you want, we can pretty much um, accommodate because we're very, we're very um, wide in what we can offer. And our vision is that all of our enrollees will graduate from high school and become self-actualized citizens and successful leaders in their communities. And what that means is whatever you choose to do once you graduate from us, be it go to college, be it go to trade school, be it go to the military, whatever the case may be, um, we expect for you to learn how to become a self-actualized citizen and we want you to be a successful leader in your community, wherever that's at. If it's in Polk County, if it's in Lakeland, Arbondale, Georgia, uh, Tennessee, wherever, you, wherever your future leads you, um, that's what our vision is for all of our students. And I think that's me. I think I'll transition now to Dr. Townsend and she will continue on. Okay, thank you. Um, he's talked about um, the three collegiate high schools. And before I actually start my uh, particular section, we do have um, uh, Mrs. Terry, Mrs. Misa, Mrs. Bonnie, Mrs. Ryan, and Mr. Jean on the line. So I would like for them to introduce themselves if they wouldn't mind. We'll start with, um, we'll start with Mrs. Terry, Mrs. Terry. Let's see. Mrs. Terry, can you hear me? Okay, we'll go on to, okay, here okay there we go. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. Good evening, students. I'm just so excited that you are expressing an interest at Gateway um, High School. It is a fabulous, fabulous opportunity for for you. Um, I am the college success, a uh, few other college level classes, such as interpersonal uh, communication and relationships and uh, business leadership. So um, we all work together. We all are here for you to succeed. And I'm just so happy to have everybody here. Thank you, Mrs. Terry. Um, next up, Mrs. Misa. Hello everyone, I'm Carrie Misa and I am actually, my first year is just wrapping up here at Gateway. It has been quite interesting as you all know because it's not your typical year with everything that's going on, but I have loved every minute of it. My students are great, they work hard and they show up even when they feel like they don't wanna show up, they're showing up and I love it. So I can't say, I have been teaching for 20 years and you know, students are blessed to have this opportunity. And so for those of you who are looking for this opportunity of knocking out a little bit of college and getting exposed to college while also graduating from high school, I mean, I didn't have this opportunity when I was in high school. So for those students who are taking advantage of it, it is amazing. It's an amazing um, opportunity for all of you. So welcome to Gateway and hopefully stick with us all the way through. Thank you, Mrs. Bonnie. Hi, welcome to Gateway. I know you're gonna have a wonderful year this year. Here at Gateway, you, you'll have a lot of support. You have people like Dr. Downey, Mrs. Ortega, Mrs. Battle, Dr. Barnes, just everybody in the office. Their, their door is always open. You can always go to them. As teachers, you can email us at any time. You can, you can text or call us at any time. And the good thing is that some of your high school teachers will also be some of your college teachers. So you guys will have a lot of support and a lot of love here at Gateway. Again, welcome. Thank you. Mr. Jean. Good evening, everyone. And uh, welcome to Gateway. I, um, I've been with Gateway for quite some time, and I just want to let you know that this is the best kept secret. And in fact, I have breaking news that my son may be attending next year. So you're all welcome because, um, as I've said earlier, this is the, this is the best kept secret, and uh, you guys are going to love it. And uh, the opportunity that you have, I did not have it either myself when I was in high school. And um, I hope you guys take full advantage of it and welcome again. Thank you. And Mrs. Ryan, although she's at a tennis match, uh, Mrs. Ryan. Hey, everybody. I came to my car to be quiet. I'm so sorry for um, 
not being in my office at home. Uh, I'm Mrs. Ryan. I am the science teacher at Gateway High School. I'm also the sponsor of NHS, National Honor Society. Uh, we, let's see, this will be my seventh year, I believe working at Gateway and um, it's a lovely place. It's, it's one of a kind. Uh, you have the opportunity to see such high school and college success. You're gonna have wraparound services. Uh, you know, to be here is, is an amazing opportunity and I hope you take it up. Thank you. Thank you very much to all of our teachers who um, joined us this evening. We do appreciate that. Um, our school purpose, let me minimize some things. Polk State um, College Charter High Schools provide academic and technical education for serious high school students who desire to undertake college level study. But that's not all. Um, we have some students who attend our school who decided that they wanted to maybe graduate from high school early. Um, so they graduated from high school early and they were able to get some college credits. Um, some of them just wanted a change in scenery. Our school is much smaller than those schools who have uh, two and 3,000 students. Um, we have not, we don't even have 300 students. So we have a smaller, um, we have a smaller school. And while we may not know everyone, we try to get to know our students as much as possible. The Gateway program is designed to be completed in two years or less, but it depends on the individual student's graduation requirements. It is the goal of the program to enable students the opportunity to complete a high school diploma and some of the requirements for an associate's degree in academic transfer. What does serious and focus mean? That means being in attendance, being prepared, being on time, which equals success. Yes, you can expect homework, expect independent work outside of class, projects and papers, expect to prepare for the ACT and SAT. We actually offer um, the ACT and the SAT here at our school. And when we offer it, the students, um, it's called ACT or SAT school day, the students, um, have extended time. So it's different than the traditional ACT or SAT. We use ACT and SAT scores um, to fulfill requirements for FSA. And I'll talk about testing a little bit later. We also use those tests um, if students wanna become um, college course eligible and haven't met it through PERT. And I'll talk about PERT a little bit later. Um, we also use that for Bright Futures. We have many of our students who have earned Bright Futures over the last few years. We have some who have already uh, earned Bright Futures in their graduate with us this year. You can expect to follow an assigned schedule, which we'll talk about, that may include some high school classes, some college classes, all college or all high school. It depends on the, per on the uh, student. You can expect to work on closing any skill gaps that you may have, okay? What do we mean by dual enrollment? By definition, dual enrollment is a state-funded program that allows students to earn college credits while completing high school at no cost to the students. Some dual enroll courses can also satisfy a high school requirement. For example, ENC 1101, which is Comp 1, can be used to satisfy the AA degree and also be used to satisfy English three in high school. So some college courses offer um, dual purpose. Okay, we reviewed that one. Okay, dual enrollment further defined. All grades from dual enrollment, um, three plus college credits are posted to the high school student scholastic record, which is their high school permanent record. All courses in dual enrollment are posted to the Polk State College transcript, which follows the student permanently. So that would be the college transcript. A student can participate in dual enrollment with Polk State College from any high school within Polk County. 
At Gateway, we're able to offer more college courses than the traditional high schools. What's the advantage of dual enrollment? Florida public universities, tuitions and fees only, an average cost some years ago was $2,988. An average cost of te textbooks per semester for college textbooks was $600. So the average cost per year was $5,976. The average cost for freshman and sophomore years plus books is $14,352. But everybody say free, 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 free. All tuition and textbooks at Gateway High School are provided at no cost to GHS students or their parents free. I don't know about you. I like free. I'm sure you like free too. Okay. The AA degree program, two-year general education program with multiple majors, completely transferable to Florida public and private colleges and universities, guaranteed acceptance into State University of Florida, as a junior with a completed a, a degree. Now, I do want to clarify something with that particular bullet point. Um, guaranteed acceptance into the state university system within Florida does not always necessarily mean into the state university that you may be going after to, to attend after the AA degree. But I'll have Mrs. Chandler talk about um, different programs like Fuse and Ignite that we have partnered with a lot of the universities here within the state of Florida that students can automatically go into once they get their AA degree with some exceptions. And also new open access AS degrees and some certifications. And I think Mrs. Chandler will talk about that when she comes up for her presentation. Okay, Mrs. Chandler. Well, thank you and good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Mrs. Chandler and I wanna talk a little bit more about the, um, the programs that are available uh, as well as who, who is encouraged to apply. So the two year, when you think about your last two years in high school, they're essentially the first two years of your AA degree. They're your general education requirements. However, if you want to, so, as a, as a freshman in college, so let's just say you were a traditional, typical high school student and you graduated from high school and you went into college, you would be considered a freshman. But what happens if you come here, if you come to a school like any of the collegiate schools, what would happen is you would still be considered a freshman when you go to the college, but you'd be a freshman with potentially an AA degree or college credits towards an AA degree. Now, what that means is you'll have two different ways to apply, but everybody applies as a freshman because you all will be first time in college. That means that if you wanted to go to the university system and you did not want to be evaluated in the same fashion as freshmen are evaluated, you are more than welcome to stay at Polk State College for an extra semester and then go as a transfer. But if you are leaving, from Polk State Lakeland Gateway High School with a high school diploma and an AA degree, you would have to meet the same entrance requirements as everyone else, which means your SAT scores um, and any other uh, GPA requirements they may have. So what the advantage of starting your two years early is that once you've graduated and you have your AA degree and you have those two years, you're no longer doing those two years again. So if I was to graduate from a typical high school here in Polk County with my high school diploma, I would automatically have to do, for instance, ENC 1101 and ENC 1102, because that's part of the state program for Florida. So that's your, um, your communications requirements for your English. Meanwhile, I've already done English 3 and English 4. But if I go to this program and I already have ENC 1101 and ENC 1102, that's replacing English 3 and 4 
when I get to the university, I won't have to do it again. Okay, and that's that's a blessing. Um, so uh, when we say that it's guaranteed admissions, it's only if you stay with Polk an extra semester because you have to be considered first time in college somewhere and Polk State would love to have you stay and uh, complete any of their bachelor programs that we have here. So uh, when you come to our program, it's a early college introduction. It's to get you ready for what the expectation is because the expectations are very different. Um, so in addition to that, I wanna talk about the new uh, open access AS programs. And this is the first year that we were doing that. So this is one of our open access programs, which is for the IT program. And normally we would have a, a professor here talking to you if we were in person, but this is one of the programs that we offer uh, through the IT department over at Polk State. And it is a wonderful program. I'm taking one of the digital media, excuse me, one of the digital media classes right now. And the conversations, uh, not everybody has to get a bachelor's degree. You can do an AS degree. And that's why we started offering AS degrees to our students. You can do an AS degree and earn just as much, if not more money than if you had a bachelor's degree. So this year, I'm excited. We have our first AS degree in supply chain management. And I can't wait because I know that she's going to do amazing things. So she was able to do her AS and her AA while she's with us. So that's, that's very exciting. And, and the reason we can do that, Ms. Downing, if you don't mind going to the next one, the reason that we can do that is because we offer high school and that's what sets us apart. So for some students, they wanna take all of their high school graduation requirements in college and they never wanna step foot in another high school class again, but that's not really necessary. So if I was a typical graduate from high school, and I didn't have any, all of you need to take government and economics, but not necessarily on a college level. We can offer you all of your high school graduation requirements in a high school class. That way you explore everything that you need on the college side. For instance, if you graduated, you wouldn't be forced to take a college government class or a college economics class. You can take whatever you wanted for social science. So these are a listing of our open access options that we have here, uh, and there's a large array. Uh, for those of this, there's a lot of students that are interested in the AS and nursing. And for those students, what we can offer them is a um, to complete all of the prerequisites uh, that you're required to have. So what would happen with those students, and we've had a couple in the past, is they complete all of the um, prerequisites like anatomy one, anatomy two, uh, microbiology, nutrition, human development, they complete all of those. In addition to that, we ensure that they have all of their um, gen ed requirements like their social sciences, their humanities, uh, so that if they take the T's test and get accepted into the nursing program and ever wanted to come back to Polk State for the bachelor's in nursing, they can go right in because they have all of their gen ed requirements completed, even if those students don't want to uh, complete an AA degree. Uh, if you can go to the next slide, please, Dr. Townsend. Okay, now, we are very excited about what Polk State is doing in our community, and we want to highlight our bachelor programs. Now, think about it. You can go to Polk State, you can finish high school, AA degree, and your bachelor's, and you can get it all in one 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 place and it's like we're a family it's a wonderful community they're uh always putting new uh bachelor programs up but these are the ones that we have right now and i'm not going to read them to you but um uh, they're a lot to explore some of our students because remember dr barnes said you only require 10 credits to come to our school so some of our students have graduated with some bachelor level courses completed as well. So as long as you've completed everything that you needed for the AA requirement, then we can start offering you bachelor level courses and you can matriculate right into Polk State College bachelor programs. And you could have more than half of your bachelor's degree paid for for free, like Dr. Downing said. So this is like the best kept secret like Mr. Jean said, it's like we're all saying the same thing because it really is. And not only is Mr. Jean gonna have his son come over, 
my son graduated last year. Okay, so um, this is like a very family oriented place. If you would go to the next one, please. Okay, Ms. Battle, I believe this is for you to talk and then I'll continue talking about who should apply. But Ms. Battle, please uh, join us and tell us about some of the activities that they can do at Polk State. Good evening, everyone. I am Ms. Battle. I'm the fun one. No, I'm kidding. Um, I will be discussing the activities and the fun that we could have on the um, Polk State Lakeland Gateway uh, campus and the students that can be involved in these activities. Um, to start off, we have um, Student Government Association, which um, Miss Murray is actually over, which in SGA, you can either be a part of the activities that we plan, um, any parties, once we come back from this COVID stuff. Um, any parties, activities that we have, um, SGA is a part of planning those things, student government body, presidents and things like that. You will go to um, Miss Murray for those things. Interact Club, which is sponsored by myself, Miss Battle. Um, we have activities that we have planned in the past that we have worked with um, Habitat for Humanity. We've done a lot of um, community service in, in the community. We also help with planning activities, socials, parties on campus um, with our students. Uh, we have Future Business Leaders of America, which is sponsored by Miss Bonnie. We also have the Sisters Club, which is sponsored by myself. Um, sorry, fellas and young men. Um, you cannot be a part of this club, but with the activities that we do plan in the club, you can attend the activities, but the actual planning and discussions and the meetings and things is only for young ladies. There is no um, cap on that. It is also a college club. So it's high school students that's also incorporated with the college student body as well. We have um, journalism in yearbook, which is done by Miss Clayton. And we have National Honor Society that is done by Miss Ryan. Now the college clubs and organizations can um, be something that our students can participate in as long as the student is um, enrolled in at least one college class. And some of the extra clubs that are not listed on the screen, but are able to, the students are able to participate in. Um, we have STEM, we have HOSA, creative writing, the college side of SGA. Um, there's a speech and debate team. For those who like to fish, we also have a fishing team. Um, and those clubs, you would contact either um, Melvin Thompson to be a part of, or you will contact the SGA president for the college. And then you all can um, you know, come together, either be a part of SGA, or they can give you the information on the, the other clubs that, that you would like to be a part of. And that's my piece. So yes, um, if you consider any of those things and if you want any more information, um, you can reach out to me and I can provide um, more information to you about clubs and who you need to get in contact with if that's something that you desire to do. Thank you, Ms. Battle. Also, um, we had a student who graduated last year who was actually the college SGA president as a gateway student. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mrs. Chandler. Not only did she graduate, but she, she gave the speech at the college graduation. So how cool was that? Yeah. So yes, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of leadership opportunities for all of our students because once you're at Polk State Gateway, you're part of Polk State. You're part of the Polk State family. So Ms. Battle was mentioning how you have to be in at least one college class to be in a club, in a college club. Well, guess what? Everybody goes in at least one college class, regardless of whether you've passed your PERT exam, which Dr. Downing Townsend will talk more about later, everyone um, goes to a college class. So the way the curriculum plan works is you have your 11th grade year 
you'll have the summer term and then your 12th grade year for most students, depending on how you start and how many credits you have. But what we do is we like to keep scheduling unique to every student. And we invite every student to advocate for themselves as far as what classes they want and what direction they wanna go into. Think about it. How often have you ever been asked, well, what do you wanna do when you grow up? Or why are you taking this class? What is the significance of this class? Why are you learning this material? And that's the first conversation that we have. It's always, what do you wanna do? And we always try to make sure that every student is exposed to what they wanna do first because we will fit all of your high school graduation requirements in. And it's funny to see because some of the students are so engulfed in what they're learning because they're passionate about it. It's what they want. It's their why question, why they're doing this. And then they turn around and they say, well, wait a minute, when am I going to get my high school graduation requirements? What's happening? And they're all happening at the same time. So you're enjoying yourself. You're learning new things that you actually want to learn about. And at the same time, you're putting in all of the high school graduation uh, requirements in there. So everybody has an individualized education plan, OK? And everybody can reference it. And it can change. It could be that you anticipated that this is what you wanted to do with your life. And then you decided it is not what you wanted to do with your life. So summer is not mandatory. It is optional, but the students have to advocate to um, be considered for that option. So they have to come forward and say, yes, I want summer because this is the plan that I have and this is what I'm trying to accomplish. This is my goal. And in the 12th grade year, more than 50% of our students are done with their high school graduation requirements by December of their 12th grade year, okay? And what that means is that last semester is a little bit more relaxed they're usually just completing an AA degree or an AS degree and some certificates because we also have some certificates depending as long as you meet the requirements. So this year uh, we're having uh, two certificates. We're gonna have three, a young lady wanted to do early childhood and that's one of the certificates that she could do. And then she started doing it and she changed her mind. So it's you're always open to change your mind. So consider this like, um, a sample bar of careers that you may think, I want to try this career. And so you'll take a class in the subject area to see if that's really what you want. Um, uh, Dr. Downing, if you don't mind going to the next one. So who is encouraged to apply? Okay, so I think everybody is encouraged to apply. Whether you want to go to college or not, you're encouraged to apply. And when I was talking about my son earlier, uh, as a parent, I wanted him to come, but he did not want to come because he did not want to go to college. And really, Polk State is an excellent option for college. But I wanted him to at least expose himself to it while it was free. And, and guess what? He came and he loved it. He did uh, college success with Miss Terry. And, and she was so uh, gentle to expose him to everything. And he realized he could do it. And now he graduated and he's still going to Polk State. And and he's enjoying it. Uh, so anyone isn't it, in my opinion, anyone should apply. Whether you want to do a rigorous college schedule or whether you wanna just have a more quiet environment where you can do just your high school. And because we're a four by four, you take four classes, that semester is over. So from August to December, you take four classes, that semester is over. And then from January, through um, May, you take another four classes. So some students, if they're behind in high school credits, guess what? They should come here because we're a four by four. You can complete two years of English in one year and get ready to graduate early. If you're ahead and you wanna come here, you should. If you wanna explore college, you can. So to me, anyone who wants the flexibility of saying what I wanna learn, when I want to learn it, should come to Polk State. Anybody who wants to take control of their educational path should consider Gateway High School because truly it is a gem. Gateway High School offers you high school, offers you college, offers you career planning. It offers it all to you and it is so small that for some students who may be shy or may feel introverted, it's such an open campus. And there's something about being around young adults because all of it is adults on the campus. 
that everybody is accepting. Everybody, we don't have the high school drama of he said, she said. It's more like of a place out of love. It's at a place out of we're all here because we're trying to learn something. So I think that really, if you are considering something different and you're tired of being huddled through the masses of um, uh, these high school buildings where your schedule is just handed to you and you want to have more control, then Gateway is, a, is an option for you. Um, Dr. Downing, we can, okay, the application process. So the application process, we are trying to make it as simple as possible, but two, remember the number two, it's two steps. You apply to Polk State College first because you are going to be a scholar at Polk State College. And then after that, you apply to Gateway. So the application is available at www.polk.edu. You click apply now and you start your application and you just make sure that you select that you're interested in the dual enrollment high school. After you do that, you would go back to the Polk State College website and you would apply at the Gateway page, just like that. And it's very simple, okay? It is not a long process at all. You'll have to answer some questions, but before you know it, you'll be done. You'll have a um, college ID generated for you. And you don't even need the college ID to complete your high school application. So if it's a little delayed, you can still complete the high school application, but you, you wanna make sure that you complete both of them because we can't accept you unless you've completed both of the applications. So that's very important. It's a two-step process, okay? That's and the high school application will open on Thursday, April 1st. April 1st. And that's not a joke, guys. I know it's not a joke. It, it, this is a serious thing. Yes. <laughs> if you don't mind going to the next one. Okay, so for PERT. Now, PERT is an important part of our school. And it is important because that is the one that opens the door. That's the exam that opens the door to all of the college classes. But like I said earlier, everybody gets college, whether they pass PERT or not, you are going to be exposed to some. And you like it then we'll pull back and you'll just have the high school but you have to take the PERT test however you will not and I repeat not take the PERT test until you're accepted okay so what happens is you will receive hopefully knock on wood you will receive an acceptance letter to Polk State Lakeland Gateway High School that's different than the e email you're going to get you're going to get an email right away from Polk State College that says congratulations you've been accepted but that's to the college for the high school, you will receive an email from Dr. Downing. She will give you your acceptance letter. And once you get that, she will schedule you for PERT testing. And this is very important. It's important because once you start testing with us, if you're not doing well and if you can't achieve it, we want you to achieve it. So you'll be testing in a controlled environment. You can test face-to-face. -face. You can test through honor lock, which is in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to take the whole test at one sitting. Uh, my son took it in three different sittings because if he took the whole thing, he was just going to become mentally exhausted and not do as well in the other parts. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to accommodate what you need and how you need it. So if you need it bits and pieces, you will get it bits and pieces, but you are not to take that exam, no sir, no ma'am, until you are accepted by Polk State Lakeland Gateway High School, because that way we can figure out what you need to pass the test, if that is your goal, and we can get that to you. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, everyone will take the PERT test. Whether you want to keep taking it or not, that's up to you and your individual plan, but everybody has to take it at least once, okay? Next slide, please. Okay. Now, is this me? Okay, the application yes. process, <laughs> is this still me? Uh, so you're going to go online, you're going to go to the, uh, the application, and you have to do it in one sitting. So you can't save it and come back. So we've shortened our application drastically. We used to have three essay questions. No, it's just one essay question. It's just to get to know you a little bit better, make sure you're a good fit. And that's what makes us a family because we wanna make sure that you're a good fit for our program. But that doesn't mean you have to rush to the computer on April 1st, but still don't wait to the last minute because then we get nervous. So, but you want to apply whenever you have time to sit down, answer the questions and, and complete your application. Okay. But this is not a 
first come first serve basis. Everyone will apply and depending on how many slots we have available to fill, some will be seniors, some may be juniors, some may even be in 10th grade. Okay, because all you need is 10 credits. What we do is we fulfill depending on how many slots we have per grade, okay? So there is no need to uh, say, I have to do it on April 1st exactly because I have to be first, but you don't wanna be last either because what happens is depending on how many applicants we have, we always turn the list over to the school board and it's a lottery. And I'm telling you, this is a straight lottery. This is not based on your GPA. This is no. not based on your CURT scores. This is not based on SAT, ACT. It's not based on any of that. It is based on a lotto number. So if your number hits, you win. We read your essay because we wanna know where you fit, who's your mentor, things like that. Everybody gets a mentor at Polk State College because we want you to have an adult that you are comfortable with. We want you to have an adult that you can reach out to. So we do all of that. We even allow you to pick your mentor once you meet us. And if you don't want it assigned to you, but it is a seamless process and it is one that you will not regret. You will, you will, you will cherish the day that you took advantage of that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay. Oh, and if I didn't say the deadline, I hope you guys have been reading because I don't have my glasses on, but the deadline is April 30th, 2021. Okay, the next slide. Okay, this is my final slide. Application process recap, two steps, like I said. First, complete your Polk State College application because we definitely want to keep you in the Polk State family. We want you to stay with us as long as you can. And then second, you're gonna complete the Gateway High School application. So we know your interest and we can get to know, read about you, and uh, we can reach out to you and let you know if you've been accepted. Thank you, that's for me, that's my time. Have a great evening. Thank you. Okay, frequently asked questions. Are charter schools public schools? Yes, our charter school is a public school and both the FSA reading and the EOCs are required for high school graduation. So yes, we do the Algebra One EOC, the Geometry EOC, and the US History EOC. Are Gateway students eligible for Bright Futures? Absolutely. Do college credits transfer to colleges and universities? Yes, in most cases, but some colleges may not take all of them. But if you get your AA degree and it's solidified, at least within the state of Florida, it will be accepted um, as Mrs. Chandler talked about. Is advanced placement better than dual enrollment? College admissions offices are looking for students who demonstrate success with rigorous academic course load. And the difference between AP classes and dual enrollment with the AP class at the end of the semester or at the end of the year, you take a course and with that course um, comes a test. If you pass that test, then you earn college credit. With dual enrollment, as long as you pass the class, you automatically get the college credit. Is there free and reduced lunch available to students? Yes, if you qualify, and we use the same federal guidelines that um, Polk County School Board uses, okay? Um, what about bands, ROTC, athletics, et cetera? Charter school students are allowed to participate in extracurricular activities that are not uh, tiered uh, for credit courses. And what I mean by that, if it's a band, if it's um, band, but it's tied to a class, um, that requires you to be on uh, a different school campus, you wouldn't be able to do that. But if it's something like baseball, softball, football, and you um, want it to play, because we don't offer those sports, yes, you can continue playing at your zone schools, okay? We have many students who still participate in those sports. Now, we have had some students who participated in cheerleading when we had a Polk State College cheerleading team. Polk State College also has a girls soccer team and a uh, men's basketball team. If you tried out for those and you were to get on those teams, 
then starts your NCAA eligibility. So you have to be careful with that. And for more information regarding that, send me an email and you'll be able to see that email address later in the presentation. Can Gateway students participate in Polk State College activities? All Polk State College activities are open to Gateway students. If students, again, try out for and make Polk State College athletics teams, it then starts their NCAA eligibility because that would be for a college team. What's a typical day like? Everyone's schedule is different. High school classes meet daily while college classes do not. There is no set lunch time for college. For high school, there is a set um, lunch time. The cafeteria, it used to be open all day. We are not sure just yet what it's going to look like um, as we start our uh, new school year because we have a different vendor that we'll be using. Students may have breaks in their schedules. Um, if you have a combination schedule of high school and college, or if you have a straight college schedule, it just depends. But there are um, places that you can go. We have our own chart labs. We actually have two of them. So if students need to work on papers, use the printer for free, any of those things, we have our own labs that are next to um, the Gateway office. May students leave campus during the day? Seniors with parental permission may leave campus at the conclusion of their classes. Students are to manage their school day and make the most of their free time between classes. Students that have to work or have other extenuating special circumstances will be handled on a case by case basis, okay? Um, next, we'll have, and we'll answer questions momentarily. We'll have uh, Mrs. Murray, who will talk about enrollment. Hello, hi, I'm Mrs. Murray. I'll be going over enrollment for you. Um, once accepted, we would take care of withdrawing you from your previous school if you're not a part of the Polk County to public schools. Once accepted, we will send an email of acceptance by May the 7th. Once accepted, you will be invited to attend an orientation with your parents and students and then schedule for the PERT testing. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Murray. Um, Mrs. Murray is also our um, terminal operator, so she handles a lot of the enrolling, withdrawing. Um, so if you have questions regarding that, you can email her or myself. Okay. Um, guidance services. We provide wraparound services for students to be successful. We have tutoring resources, resources, heart um, resources, mental health resources, et cetera. We also pri provide support for students who have IEPs and 504s for consult. We also provide resources for students who are gifted and students who are ESOL, okay? Um, and next up, before we take questions, will be Dr. Barnes. Uh, once again, everybody, I know we kind of have thrown a lot of information at you. Uh, we're going to provide you the chance to ask questions here in a second, and we're also going to give you contact information. So if you remember something after we're done, then you uh, feel free to reach out to us in the methods that we provide. But we want to thank you once again for, for tonight for um, taking time out of your schedule to hear about our program. We hope that you will consider us. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things that we can offer you. And um, we feel like, like a couple of our um, team members have said, we're the best kept secret in the county and hopefully you will consider us. And so at this point, we are ready to answer any in our questions that you have. If you don't have any questions, you can feel free to stay as long as you want. We'll stay and answer every question that um, that's asked. And once we're done, we'll we'll finish out. But if you if you have information that you need, uh, thank you for attending. But if anybody has questions, please stay on, and we will stay on to answer the questions for you. Yes. If you have questions, please type them in the box. If you wish to see this um, 
presentation again, we did, we are streaming live to our Facebook page and we are um, going to upload it to our um, YouTube channel. So we'll send that information out to everyone who registered. Um, the first question I see is, can you apply if you're an FLVS student? Yes, you can. If you're an FLVS student, yes, you may apply. If a student has already um, taken the PERT test, yes, those scores can be utilized. Absolutely. Any other questions? Is there a band? No, there's not a band. Um, if a student wants to participate in band, they will have to do that at their zone school. Um, Polk State Lakeland Gateway does not have a band um, and we don't have any sports on the high school level. Okay, will I still attend my campus? No, if, if you're selected to attend our school after applying, our school would be your high school. You can't be enrolled in two separate high schools. Okay, um, what is the website to apply for both schools? Um, if you would go to polk.edu, um, you would see the web, the, um, the application process for the college. And if you do a search for Gateway, you will see that. For those people who are um, registered, we'll send that email out tomorrow to you with those links in it for the application. So you'll have those. Okay, the next one. What percentage of students earn their AA degree? Mrs. Chandler, do you have that information handy? She's, on, she's muted. There she is. Mrs. Chandler, okay, there you go. Sorry about that. So our numbers have grown every year. Uh, so last year, we almost hit 50% of our graduates. So, but every year our numbers grow, grow with AA degrees as we've gotten in um, students who that's what their goal is. So every year uh, it's gone up. We went from one year, we had none our first year. And then our second year, I think we had about five. And last year we had about 50. And we were small. So we had almost uh, half of the graduating class. However, the average number of credits that was earned last year, I think it was about 40 credits. So my son, for instance, he was there and he earned 24 credits, um, but everybody gets some college credits. Thank you. Um, there are a couple of questions that I'm going to merge together. Um, Dr. Barnes, one says, will virtual distance learning be an option? And are all classes offered in both person, in person and online? Yes and yes. Virtual distance learning will be an option. It will be case by case basis. It will be a small percentage of students that will have that option. Um, it will be based off of your transcript, your prior performance and your situation as far as like your essay. So if there's a need, please make sure that when you do your essay that you explain that so that um, we'll, we, you know, we can consider that. But yes, that is yes to both of those. Okay, thank you. If I already filled out an application for Polk State for dual enrollment, do I just need to apply on the gateway application? That is absolutely correct. If you've already completed an application with Polk State College, you do not need to reapply again unless that application is an older one, okay? Um, again, we will send out um, the links of where you can apply for those who registered. Um, after being accepted, yes, we do schedule you for PERT. Do not take it before. If you've already taken it, that's fine. Um, what clubs are best to join if you want to want a job as a sports journalist or sports analyst? I would say the yearbook club in journalism would be the best. Um, if you miss the first half of the Zoom, it will be, it, it is streaming live to our Facebook page and we will upload it to our YouTube channel. I'll send the information out. I am aiming to become a dermatologist. Do you offer biology and chemistry courses? Mrs. Chandler. Yes, on the college level and we offer uh, biology on the high school level, but the answer to that is yes. 
Um, what's the average of students that submitted an application um, that get accepted? It, it varies. So we strongly encourage you to apply because that number varies and has varied from year to year. Okay. Um, so if I get accepted and begin to go to your school, would I continue to do my Haines City High School Band Color Guard activities? As long as it's not attached to a class, you can continue um, the marching band and the color guard activities. Um, I don't have a transcript. How would that affect how I apply? Um, you can get that uh, transcript from your current school. They should be able to provide you with that information. If not, send us uh, an email and we can give you other avenues on how to obtain that. Is there a boys and girls weightlifting team? We don't have any sports at our school. As a junior going and I'd like to add to that, we do have a weight room at Polk yes. State Lutheran Campus. So if that's a hobby that you have, we mm -hmm. do have a weight room when things open back up. I mean, we have been, this school has been so unique in providing uh, opportunities for people. We have high school classes that are hybrid. So you're home unless you need that in-person uh, interaction and then only nine students can come into the class and have the in-person section. So if like you had uh, a chapter in Algebra 2 that was coming up and you know it's too difficult, guess what? You can make arrangements to come to campus for that. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Chandler. As a junior going into the program as a senior, would I be able to knock out an AA degree? And I see that twice. The answer to that will be no, only because the AA degree requires you to have at least 60 credits and it would be impossible, which is why we offer um, students summer. But let's just say you were a junior and you were starting and you had not passed your PERT test, right? And you didn't pass it until the spring semester of your junior year, you'll be able to earn an AA degree. If, as long as you're full college by spring of your junior year. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Chandler. I'm aiming to become a nurse. Will there be a course or courses for that? Yes. So for nursing students, they are on a, um, so we at Polk State, we have pathways. And so they're in a STEM pathway, but their STEM looks a little different. So it, they're all encouraged to take basic anatomy first. And a lot of them say, well, I've already had anatomy in high school. It is not the same, not the same. So they're all encouraged to take basic anatomy first, then anatomy one, then anatomy two, and then microbiology. Uh, a lot of them are done with microbiology by the spring of their senior year. And during all of that time, they will be taking the other classes that are needed like nutrition, human development, psychology, their English, their math, all of that is included. So when you leave, you are ready to apply to Polk State College's nursing program because that is a limited access AS degree. Okay, thank you. Um, what is the difference between Gateway Collegiate and Lakeland Collegiate? Do you want me to answer that? Sure. High school. <laughs> we, offer, we offer a lot of high school. So we offer everything. And, and so Dr. Barnes uh, didn't mention this in the first uh, introductory part, but some of us come from collegiate. So I've been uh, with collegiate and so has Dr. Barnes. And then we moved over to Gateway and actually collegiate started Gateway. And that was to provide more opportunities for anyone to come to the Polk State College campus, for anyone to feel at home. So what we offer is we have wraparound services. So it's not just go and fend for yourself. It's an adult, everybody has a mentor. We have the wraparound services to help you. And then on top of that, we have flexible scheduling because of the high school. So because of the high school courses that we offer, we can keep high school for you where it's needed and where you want it. And then we can keep college for you where it's needed and where it's want. You don't have to mix both. If you wanna be a business major and you've never taken accounting, then what is the AA degree for? So you want an AA degree that's going to get you where you need to be exactly for when you do your bachelor's. 
And that's why we offer the high school so that anyone can be here. So if you're not even sure about college yet, this is the place for you. If you're sure, this is the place for you. But we offer high school, wraparound services, flexibility, anything that you need. Our goal is to be here for you so you can be successful. Okay. And to Thanks. pick back off that, the other difference is collegiate as a GPA requirement as part of their, grad, uh, their application process, we do not. Um, they also have a, a preference as far as passing the perp with us, you have to take it. You don't have to pass it with collegiate. You have to pass at least two parts to be kind of priority um, so, um, considered. And someone asked, could they leave now? Um, if you have all the questions answered that you need, you can leave. If you still have questions, if you want to hear the answers to the questions that people have put in the chat, then stay on. But yes, if you feel like you've gotten the information you need, feel free to leave, but we'll, we're gonna stay on and continue asking questions. You go ahead, Dr. Townsend, sorry. Okay, that's okay. If I don't win a spot at your school, will I have a chance to do dual enrollment somewhere for my junior year next year? Um, yes, um, I would like to invite you and I'm gonna put some emails in the chat or Ms. Battle, can you put the email, our email addresses in the chat box if you don't mind? Send me an email personally and I'll explain to you how that will work. Okay, we answered that one. Is there a course for physical science? Yes. Um, what are the options for students interested in design and animation? Mrs. Chandler, we just had that discussion with Dr. Johnson. So, Dr. Downing Townsend and I like sampling classes every once in a while. And we are sampling right now digital media. And digital media has def different tracks. So it could be video, it could be uh, graphic design, it has different tracks. So there is an option for you. And it is a lot of fun. I mean, we are, we're editing movies, we're using high technology, like state of the art, we're in recording booths, we're bringing home uh, task recorders, doing animated stories, audio stories, and I realize I'm not, but there is an option. And what Polk State has that is unique is that it has a track that even if, let's just say you were interested in something that Polk State didn't offer, it offers you a pathway to get to the place that has it. So no, nothing is like out of bounds. Okay, thank you. Um, no, there is no GPA requirement for Gateway. Um, are there courses if you are wanting to be a history teacher? Yes. Um, Mrs. Chandler, do you want to um, talk about those courses if they want to be a history teacher? So for the education program at Polk State, they have elementary uh, education right now i believe and so yeah. what they offer so it would be similar to the nursing so you would get intro to teaching you would get uh intro to classroom management so you would get the foundation the basics but then you have uh, elective credits that you can explore all the way from uh the history of florida uh government in florida government overall uh the history of the united states world history so they have a lot of electives and through your electives is how you personalize your interest and what you want so we always find an elective that can help you uh that can help um develop those those gaps close those gaps that uh dr downing townsend mentioned in the beginning so anything to, to enhance you. We've had students that are very shy and they've taken public speaking. Why? Becoming uncomfortable makes you grow. So anything that they have, the answer is yes, you can take them as long as you meet the requirements. And I just want to piggyback on GPAs because it was mentioned twice. We don't require a GPA. Like there's no, you have to have a three point whatever. And what I like about that is that if let's just say your GPA wasn't that great, Polk State is a fresh start because you start mm -hmm. a new GPA. You start a college GPA. So it, it is, It is. we welcome all walks of life, wherever you are, we welcome you because we want you to get to where you're wanting to go. Yes. Is there a college success coach to help seniors obtain, apply for scholarships, college application process? Yes, ma'am. 
Um, with our school, our students are probably on information overload. Why? Because we provide them with a lot. Um, Mrs. Chandler does um, a week of just taking time out to help seniors apply for um, colleges. One she month. Plays, yeah, a, 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 a whole month. I'm sorry. A whole month of, of doing that. She does. She even does the FAFSA uh, with the parents and students. Um, she provides resources for scholarships. She posts them. So yes, yes, yes. Mrs. Chandler is the one who does all of that. And pre-COVID days, we had a lot of fun doing that. We, we have our chart lab and there's music and everybody's applying to a college or university together. So it is a lot of fun. This year, because of COVID, it was hard to do Zoom meetings to get them, you know, talking to each other. It was a little different. But yes, we still offered that assistance. Thank you. Um, yeah, Ms. Dash, yes. All you have to do is apply for Gateway once that application opens since you've done the college one. Do you accept homeschool transcripts? Yes, we do. We do send them to the district to be evaluated, but yes, we do accept homeschool transcripts. Are there any courses for students interested in dental school? That's a yes and no. So dental hygiene, no. What we do is we look at Hillsborough College and we mirror what they want. So it's all the prerequisites for what they want. If you want to go to dental school, that's different. So then the answer to that is yes, because you're doing your general education requirements and we'll just make sure that you're ready so that when you get to the university, you're ready for whatever major you're going to major for your undergrad. Okay. Can I apply if you've already applied to Lakeland Collegiate? Yes, you can, because our application is a separate application from Lakeland Collegiate. Okay. Um, this recording can be found on the Polk State Lakeland Gateway Facebook page, and it will also be uploaded to our YouTube channel. I will send that information out in an email on tomorrow. How do we submit transcripts? Um, once the application opens, it'll allow you to attach your transcript to the application. Okay, so make sure you have a digital copy or a scanned copy of your transcript to be able to attach to the application. Okay. Um, unless I'm mistaken, I think those are all of the questions. Let me see if we have any Facebook questions. Um, no, I don't see any. So if, um, thank you, Mrs. Battle. Um, in the chat box, um, Mrs. Battle has provided you with our names, titles, and our email addresses. So if you have questions, feel free to contact us. Yes, you may, you may ask your counselor for your transcript or even the terminal operator at your school. Um, for your transcript, okay? Are there any other questions? Any other questions? I will also provide this list that um, Mrs. Battle has submitted in the chat box. Um, and our office number is there. I'll also provide that information in the email that you will receive from us tomorrow since you've registered and received this link. We'd like to thank you all for your time this evening and joining us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and have a great evening.